Hey everybody and welcome back to more Vice City. As always, with me, the game's librarian and Thor. Hello. Right. Yes! Brilliant, bloody British! Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Lovefish before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier, and guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> hey, uh, Jez, you remember. Lovefish. Don't be playing them games with me, Jinzo. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English prick. Like good See, one in America. The, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old hands, your father. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old love <laughs> yeah, yeah, fish yeah, nice beauty, one, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice men, gang. Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot to the boys. You can do that for the boys, right? I love how they're tasking us with this job. You would think being rock stars, they would be able to find people to do this for them. Yeah, uh, he's basically but... asking the crime boss to get it for him. He's thinking like, yeah, they've got to have like contacts, haven't they? Where's your usual guy? Right. <laughs> and for some reason, I think there's a time limit on this mission, if I'm not mistaken. Hidden time limit. Yeah. I hate hidden time limits. Yeah. Dumbass. That is not a smart move, dude. Hey, he tried to swindle you. He did. And he's going to get his comeuppance for it, too. So is that guy's fires. <laughs> yeah. All right, motherfucker. Nice. <laughs> I love that gun. If you could walk while shooting... That would be great. Uh, the OP then, but yeah, I'm for hey, it. Hey, mate, the guys could do with some company, if you know what I mean. I know just the girl. That's right. We met a girl who's kind of slutty, who likes going to the pole position for some reason. So we're going to go look her up. Yeah, like, if she works there, does her dad know that? Would he be okay with that? I don't know. I guess as long as she's not a lawyer, maybe. Indeed. But if one day he doesn't know that she's working there, and one day he just decides, you know that pole position club? I ain't ever been in there before. I'm going to see what it's like. It's not my usual thing, but I'm going to check it out. And then he just sees her on a pole. It's not far from his place where he keeps his yacht. So that would make perfect sense. And then he becomes a regular. <laughs> oh, we're going that route, huh? <laughs> hey, why not? <laughs> but yeah, he's gone now. Yeah. Didn't help one bit in the investigation because he, was, he, he wasn't doing shit. <laughs> oh, no, he'd talk a good game. Oh, I've got feelers out. I'm looking into it. No, dude, you weren't doing shit. Run along. Like a gullible goit. Yeah, and he seemed to fool Tommy, too. Right until the fucking end. Yeah. Maybe he just knows who Cortez is, is like, a bit, bit out of Tommy's league, so he doesn't challenge him. I don't know. And that could be, because I think he is some kind of dictator, isn't he? Former dictator, I think, but right. yeah. Okay. I didn't realize she lived over here. Or was she just banging somebody over here? Probably. I think that's a house. Isn't that where you drop her off? No, you drop her off at the club, don't you? Yep. I'm pretty sure that it tells you that's her house at some point earlier. Unless I missed that. Maybe. I don't really remember already. I got about a minute left. But then again, I always knew she lived there, so maybe this mission is what, you know, tells us that anyway. Right. Yeah, I don't remember if we've seen her between now and the first video. 
I don't think we have, but I'm st I'm struggling to think. I can't recall. Part of that's confusing for me because I've already edited the next video, and I know she's in that one briefly. Yeah. I remember thinking that she's actually in this game more than I remembered her being. Yeah, it's like a handful of appearances. But I don't think we've seen her since video one until this one. No, I don't think we have. I can't. I can't recall where she would have been. Who so got? it must just be this mission. That's why I know she lives there. Yeah. Nothing before. Oh, that was close on that timer. He had four seconds left. I know. That's the nature of these games. They like to cut it thin. Yep. Eat those time limits. Yeah, they give you just enough, and that's it. How you doing, mate? It's Paolo again. Look, Tommy, I forgot to mention, we're going to need some extra muscle for the concert. A bit of security. There's a biker gang led by Mitch Baker. It would be great publicity. Very rock and roll, baby. Sort this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage passes for the gig, all right? No promises, but I assume we're going to have to do that. Unfortunately. <laughs> Tommy, man, am I glad to see you. What's going on? Bad vibes, Tommy. Aye, I'm knee joking again. It is heavy stuff, man. Heavy gang. This cat, we hardly know him, but he knows us. Like this cat. Knows all about us. Knows that Willie likes his ladies' underwear, eh? Or that Percy likes to do that. Shut up, you that. fool. Just get eh? jazz bomb yeah. sheep. It's a love rocket thing, can. Wait, <laughs> shut yeah, up. Yeah, a love rocket <laughs> thing, right? But listen, this cat. The, the guy wants love fist dead. Dead, Tommy. Love fist gone. You know what they say, the good die young, but Tommy, you've got to save love We've fish. We've got a signing in two hours, and I think... Yeah, and the boys think the stalker's going to try some monkey business there. Now I'm thinking of the Skid Row song, Monkey Business. <laughs> well, we can't let the band get assassinated, so I guess we got to go there and play bodyguard. Where's Whitney Houston? If we don't do it, nobody else is going to, I guess. Last night I was telling them about how Magellan sailed around the Strait of Magellan and met some friendly... In the real world, they would have their security, right? Um, yep. That. To kill all of them. That's an important lesson about life. But in this game, I guess the main character is the only one who can do something. It's about putting the family... He didn't even succeed there, and he's running away. Yeah, I just shoot the guard. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. I think that was a threat. Um, me, All right, guy. It's time for you to die, and I kind of wish I had a tank. I might have been able to shoot him without having to chase him all this way. Hey, at least we got some action. True. Finally. Oh, God. Run, Tommy, run! Oh, guys, look at explosions. That's the phrase, right? Well, you looked at one of those explosions, at least. Eh, do what I can. And here's another asset I figured we'd go ahead and take care of. The pole position. Nice. Which we talked about before. Uh, you grand. Yep. Now it's time to get this thing to start making money for us. Those are some expensive strippers. Yep. And I just decided to show it off a little bit because we're never coming in here again in the game. There is absolutely no reason to. Yep. I was hoping like when I first bought this, it'd be like missions and stuff. That would have been nice. Collecting girls, protecting girls, hiring girls. Yep. Stuff like that, but nope. Nope. You're about to see what you do to get this business to start making money for you, and it's pretty lame. As soon as I can find the room... It's the first one on your left. Well, you know what? <laughs> I remember that much. This is only the second time I've done this. Damn. He's so judgy. Yep. We got to sit here until we spend, is it $300? I think it's $300, yeah. And somehow doing that on this girl 
will mean that we can start making money off of this business. I'm not sure why that is. You own the business, yep. yet you have to pay for a lap dance. Yep. It's for you to get him for free. <laughs> you would think. But then again, why is spending money on one of the dancers what makes you money on this thing? I can't help but wonder if some of these were unfinished ideas. Like, they thought, yeah. okay, we want you to own a strip club and make money off of it, but then maybe they ran out of time and couldn't put submissions to it. Yeah, it seems very underbaked. Yeah, this is the worst one, in my opinion, of these assets. I think, I don't know if it's just me, but like, if you go in there at different times, like if you ran out and then ran back in, then you get like a different girl. I think so. I think there's like two or three different girls you can have dance for you. One in a white outfit and one in a red one as well. Yeah. Isn't one of them kind of fat? I don't know. I can't remember. For some reason, that's what I'm thinking. And talk about a lame strip club. They're wearing outfits. Like, what the hell? Senses. Yeah, I know. It wasn't until GTA 5 that they actually started stripping in the strip clubs, unfortunately. Ah. Okay. In GTA 4, they did wear, they did like have no tops on, but they had like the tape okay. on them. So that was censored that way. But the, yeah, GTA 5 wasn't until they properly stripped, which is kind of like, um, it's not really worth it anyway, because when you get a good look at their character models, they got low poly fucking boobs anyway. So it's kind of like, uh, it's not entirely convincing, is it really? Well, that's disappointing. I know your standards can't be too high with video games. They don't look like real life just yet. Right. But, you know, they look kind of like plasticky anyway. It's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. At least the effort was made a little bit there. Yeah, they tried. They tried. I'll give them props to that. You, you got to try and fail before you uh, succeed and improve things. I kind of think of that with this game, actually. I was editing. Next video, we're going to do the missions for the film studio. And I was editing all of those today. And that plane mission where you have to fly through the checkpoints. I couldn't help but think to myself, yeah. Flight and boats in this game were basically their first attempt, as far as I know. So that kind of makes sense where they would fail here and then hopefully get better as the series goes on. Yeah, they, well, I did have boats in GTA 3. That's true. But they're basically the same as this. Yeah. Yeah, they did start improving them slightly over the game. San Andreas had decent flight controls. GTA 4 didn't have any. But then GTA 5, flying is quite easy, really, quite pleasant. Oh, nice. Yeah, they nailed it in that. But yeah, any game before that, the flying is terrible. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to hear me rant about how much I hate the flight in this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ. Hope this is exciting for everybody, because my thought process was, if I had to sit through all this, then so does everybody else. Indeed. <laughs> Five hours later. Yeah. God, I could just imagine, like you were saying before, we could have had a mission where we had to go get some new girls, or we could have had a mission like we're going to have for the film studio where some congressman was giving us issues and we had to deal with them in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. I think with the strip club, we could have had like a rivalry with another strip club. Yeah. And like you can you're competing to make your strip club better than theirs. And yeah. they start kidnapping your girls and stuff and you've got to get them back and Well there you go, right like there. That. Mission. Or you could have the strippers all get in the van to go fight the other strippers in a giant cat fight. <laughs> Just like a riot of strippers. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, but the fight has to take place in a mud pit. Well, anyways, that was the pole position asset. We now get, I believe it's 4,000 a day. Three or 4,000, I can't remember. I think four. Four. 
Yeah, it's the ice cream place that gives three. Yeah, that congressman, or the vicar at least. <sighs> we'll see him next video. Where's Baker? I'm looking for Big Mitch Baker. Who's looking? Tommy Rossetti. Rossetti? You don't look like the law, so that's bought you a minute. You better talk fast. Ken Paul said you might be interested in pulling security for a gig he's got set up. Ken Paul? Shh. No wonder he sent you. The last time he was here, he left through the window in nothing but his limey birthday suit. Are you interested or not? We only do favors for our own. How do I join? This ain't no country club, boy. Can you handle a bike? Can you sit on a stool and drink? Goger, Zeppelin, go see how this girl handles the bike. Originally, I wasn't going to show these cutscenes because of copyright issues, but I found a way around that. So that's why I'm going to summarize what we have to do for each of these missions. What we have to do is win a race in order to get these guys to start liking us a little bit. Not quite sure why that's the case, but okay. You've earned their respect by beating them at their own game, I think. I think you're correct. So that's what we're doing. At this point, I was going on about why I was cutting the cutscenes with Mitch Baker, which obviously is not happening now. Although I think I've said it before, I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into making sure the dialogue is synced up right. I put a lot of work into editing these videos already, and by that point, I just don't care enough. And I'm really glad I didn't run into that pull a little harder or I would have fallen off. Which would have been quite annoying. Oh God, not more music. No. Actually, I wonder if Love Fist's music is copyrighted. I don't think it is. I did find a Love Fist EP on YouTube. Yes. What I'm about to reference is a mod Thor wants to work on for GTA 3. Yeah, speaking of which, I hope we do get a chance to do those radio stations because I love the idea of having a love fist as a host for a radio station. Ooh, nice. Or was it the ex-drummer who got kicked out before they made it big? That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, because he's, uh, he's got a bit of Irish in him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's booted out just because of that. <laughs> Still, you know, I hear there's good money in ice cream. So we now have the ice cream shop. And we're going to go ahead and take care of that asset. What were you about to say? I was going to say she's probably got a basement that needs investigating. I think so, too. I was about to comment on that, too. <laughs> Her comments there definitely leave a lot of questions that are never answered. He mentions putting kids to work. Yeah. 
sure that I'm sure there are some laws against that. Yeah, pretty sure. And I'm also pretty sure I actually did this mission before doing the one for the Sunshine Auto. One of the vehicles you have to take for that list is this ice cream van. You know what would have been funny? Because it's GTA and it's a... Uh, would, would have fit in with GTA like, perfectly. What if it wasn't drugs or anything, but it was like legit ice cream? And you're going <laughs> around delivering legit ice cream. But the ice cream is just that fucking good. It just makes people go crazy. Yeah, I'd be down with it. It's, it's not even drugs. It's just like actual legit ice cream. And people <laughs> love it. <laughs> they start rioting for it. <laughs> yeah, and they have to like, they have to put like regulations on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be down with that. So for this one, you have to sell 50 ice creams, I believe. And every four or five give you a wanted level. So that's why I do this over here because there are a number of customers. Weird, most of them are black guys. I don't know what the developers are trying to say there, but we're not gonna touch that. I'm not saying that, but anyways, moving on. There's also a pain spray over here. So whenever there gets to be too many stars, you can just roll over to that, reduce your wanted level and keep going. So it's pretty handy. And once you're done, yes, I'm not making you watch me do all of that. That was enough suffering on my part. I didn't think anybody needed to see that. I don't mind showing a dancing lady for people suffering, but sitting there selling ice cream, not so much. With that fucking jingle yeah. on a loop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, let's go ahead and do another mission for Baker. <laughs> Got you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah. How many more errands am I going to have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's going to sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right. But this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right. I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. So for this mission, we have to raise our wanted level in a specific time limit. And Mitch Baker makes a comment that I don't think we've touched on to this point. If we have, I forgot about it. He talks about doing a job for somebody and then having to do 15 years for it. That's the first mention I can think of, of Sonny being the one to cause Tommy to have to do 15 years. Uh, it's very cryptic stuff. Well, can't, not really cryptic, but not doesn't really let anything on, does it? Yeah. Nope. For years, I was like, what actually is the story and the plot of this game? And it wasn't until, a, you know started reading up on like the wikis and all that and when i was a bit older to like fully understand it i was like oh okay that's what was going on <laughs> yeah what's well, like you have this whole bit the first half of the game who stole the money who broke up the deal yeah which is fine and i don't mind that they want to go with something else but the second half of the game as you can kind of tell we have some odd jobs to do and then we're just building our businesses yeah and then, of course, at the end, Sanyo will come back and we'll have to deal with him. Yep. They sort of do the same thing in San Andreas, where the character is, like, on a path, like a set path to do something. And then somewhere along the lines, the character gets it in their head that, oh, I'm just going to go off and do this instead and basically screw what I was originally going to do. Both games kind of do that without the character saying that. There's no cutscene for the character sitting there going, do you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go and build an empire or I'm going to go explore this or I'm going to do that. There's no cutscene saying that they're going to do that, but that's what they end up doing anyway. That Tommy just sort of does it naturally on his own. Yeah. There's nothing to say that he's doing it aside from him doing it. Yeah. 
And CJ in San Andreas does the same thing. He kind of goes off and gets a new life away from the ghetto. Leaves everybody in... Whatever. Leaves Sweet in jail and leaves... Um, leaves shit behind and starts getting into heist and stuff. And there's no cutscene to say he's going to do that. He just does it and then all the characters are like, What are you doing leaving us behind? Hey there, Mitch. Well, if it ain't badass for Seti. Now I want to see how good you can fight for your patch. A local street gang made the mistake of stealing my hog. Probably because of some machismo thing or something. Me and the boys would go over there and teach them a lesson in respect and all. Anyway, then I got to thinking. This would make a good initiation for you. You get my bike back, and you can tell Paul he's got his security. Come on! So for this one, somebody stole Mitch Baker's bike, so we got to get back. And this is how the game wants you to do it. Ride a bike up that staircase and pick up his bike. We're not going to do that, though. Yeah, I don't know if that level of storytelling is just like, bad writing or just not really knowing how to develop a story for these games or what. Yeah, it's... yeah... It seems like they had an idea for something and then partway through the game, they just kind of don't know how to finish it off. I think that's what happened with San Andreas. Cause, okay, fair enough. CJ goes and lives his own life. Fine. Right. But like, it's just the way they do it. I don't like. And by the end of the game, like you get some phone calls from Sweet and all that. It's been let out of jail and uh, shit and fine. Okay, whatever. And it's like, you got to come back to the city. And CJ's like, no. And he's like, please. And he's like, oh, okay. And if like, the game's over in like five missions after that. So the <laughs> ending was hastily slapdash together. Okay. Because they didn't know how to get CJ out of his new life, back into his old life sort of thing. Yeah. Well, if you didn't write it so he went off on his new life, you wouldn't have to figure that out, would you? Or just oh. close out the gang storyline of his old life and then... Once everything's done, maybe he's lost a ton of stuff and he's just like, fuck this, I'm out. Yeah. The only reason why he has to leave the city is that uh, it's too dangerous for him to turn back. Yeah. That's okay. Fair enough, that's a good enough reason. But, like, I don't know. Everything sort of just goes off the rails. and The whole story just goes off onto something else and... Yeah, it's just like, okay. It kind of feel, almost feels like two games in one and not in a good way. Yeah, I could see that. I think a lot of the Last Ventura stuff feels like a, an expansion to the original game. It feels like it could have been released as a separate story that he does after everything. Yeah. Because what he does there is completely unrelated. San Fierro is related, but like Ventura just isn't. Ah. And then he gets salty when he has to go back to uh, Los Santos. I don't blame him. He goes back anyway <laughs> with little resistance and it's like everything's back to normal. It's like, all right, fine, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so these guys are chasing you, so I come over here so that I can deal with them. Yeah, it's just a really weird way of doing things. It kind of works, I guess, well enough in this game compared to... The way you describe San Andreas, I've never finished that game, so I haven't seen how that all plays out, but I knew you've described that to me before, and it sounds really bad. Well, he clearly, mate, he's clearly got in his new life. He's got his new friends. He's in a new city. He's doing new things, earning quite a bit of money in the process. Yeah. He's got, like, no reason to go back to uh, Los Santos, like, yeah, okay, he's got, like, ten penny and his brother and all that. But for all intents and purposes, he's moved on from all that. Yeah. But then, randomly, oh, no, he actually hasn't. So he goes back, and then the, the game ends after a couple of phone... After a couple of phone calls, he goes back to the city. Four or five missions later, credit roll. What? Mm. If he just cut out the whole Ventura's part and had him go back to Los Santos after San Fierro, it would have made much more sense to me. Well, yeah, why not just go back for whatever loose ends he needs to tie up and then have him be like, all right, I'm moving on, and then go to Las Venturas and move on with his life. I guess they felt like they needed a, 
a main villain for the final boss like Sunny or uh, Tenpenny, but yeah, it just sounds really odd. Because yeah, Big Smoke's the big bad in San Andreas. Okay. Yeah, they could they could have done that in like if they just reordered it. That's all, that's all I think it is. Not necessarily what happens, but like the, the way it happens and when it happens. Like if they reordered it. But yeah, ah. like you say, if he'd killed Tenpenny, he got his revenge on Smoke. Yeah, I can imagine him then going, "Ah, I'm done with this like shit all of his city." Yeah. It's like sweet, you can stay behind and deal with like the fucking hood if you want to. I'm out. I'm le I'm leaving the gang life. And then he goes off and does all these like heists with the mafia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That could have been in the expansion pack to San Andreas, then. Yeah. It unlocks after you've... Yeah. Yeah, that would have been perfectly fine. Oh, we'll see that at some point, because eventually yeah. I do plan on playing that game. It's a decent game. I know I rag on it quite a bit, but it's a decent game. I just think a lot of it could have been cut out and, like... Um, they could have filled in the ending a bit more. If they had, when he returns to Los Santos, they could have had more missions to tie up the ending or deal with all the all the right. story with Tenpenny and all that. Right. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a thing, though. I know I do it, where I think we criticize the things we like. Yeah, we do. Indeed. Like Chris. Chris! <laughs> uh. Alright, give me the mission marker. Thank you, game. <sighs> it is kind of interesting to hear how similar these stories are, this one in San Andreas, or at least how similar some of the problems are in these stories. Hey, it's Mitch. You did good, Tommy. It's good to have the old girl back. You tell Kent Paul, he'll get his security for the gig. You have my word on that. Now keep yourself out of trouble. Awesome. Now it's time for the final mission of this video. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it, man! That say goes back! What's going on? That psycho won't leave Love Fist alone! You didn't kill him, man! And now he's back! Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making threats! Shut Michelle, man, I need my mom! We're all breaking ourselves, man! Okay, guys, calm down, I'll handle this. Normally, I wouldn't busy myself with driving around a bunch of drunken Scottish bisexuals. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Eyeliner at Vice City's one-stop shop for people who are cool when they cry. Wow, you look ambiguous. Complete the last man. Time for a well elm drink. Are you finished? She's a hundred yards to the road, then. Better make it a large one, then. Hey, Tommy, change the tunes, man. I get all confused if my head's not banging. Oh, look, what's this? Hey, Tommy, take the step on. Look, fist. Your time polluting the airwaves is over. I gave you the chance to be friends. Well, now I'm giving you the chance to die. You try and slow down, your limousine will explode along with your big airy asses. Tommy, pal, you've got to save the band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. We've got to find it, Bob. Can we just drive around all day? I would get plenty to drink. The bomb may be in the engine. We hate stop to get it. I'm going to die. I'm going to get pissed. Hey, there's a queue here, pal. Hey, man, I'm just near the drinks cabinet. Screw him away. Hey, the vodka bottle's got wires coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boonshine. Why up the blow? No, we said the drink would kill me. I've seen this on the telly. You gotta pull out one of the wires. Which wire? I don't know, man. I don't have a clue. Willie, she's shoving. I'm gonna play bass in hell. Tommy, man, keep driving fast, pal. Somebody do something. I clever. Somebody do something for kind of crap is that? I've seen braver quines. Okay, tough guy, you do something. Look, man, I play a musical instrument. I think a clue about bomb disposal. Well, he could just suck the boom shine out with a straw. I have heard that you're good at that kind of thing. Uh, hey, I was off my tits that night as well, you know. Just pass Willie a straw. I a straw? This is a love face to a bus. 
From a gagastrophe, can't find me! Which way I've done it? The green one. There isn't a green one! Oh, 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 is this it? The green one! Any of these wires look green to you? Oh, net death in the car, sorry, Lucas Green! I should have dumped you off when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet! Big screaming girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one. No! Man, we're okay. We ain't been blown up. Tommy, man, nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a gig to go to. A racket to make. Groupies to abuse. Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Oh, fist! Have you finished with our ball? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that's pretty entertaining. That is something, though, that GTA 3 did as well. The whole, hey, you didn't kill that person even though you clearly blew them up. Their satisfaction in spending all day weaving a Oh, yeah. Rather than just buying one at the store. Yeah, that was earlier in the video. You folks saw that. We clearly blew up the stalker killer guy. How did he survive that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about... On proof from the pants? Unless he had some kind of a trip to the hospital ability like Tommy has. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, the healthcare system in this game is something, anyways. Hey, to the kids, it's a temple, and we are the priests. I will. If the kids like the priests have caught and thrown dead, who am I to argue? Oh, I did get chewed up again! It's late, we'll never get a play alive! Oh, shite! My bowels! I can crack your eye, mate, dead, so uh, thanks again, Tommy. Get back to a nice one, bye! Pulling a motley crew there, are they? <laughs> yeah, pretty <Indeed>. much. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you folks for watching, and we will see y'all next time with more Vice City. I can't hear what you said. Hello, Tommy. Yeah. It's Baker. Just wanted to say I really enjoyed the show. Me and the boys want to thank you and remind you, you got our respect. Good day. Keep riding hard, son. Okay, now thanks for watching, and we will see y'all next time.